Well, I'm Doyle Dykes. I've been playing a guitar. Wow, next year will be 50 years. Music is a never ending thing because you know it has to be a gift from somewhere else because it doesn't stop. I used to play for Grandpa Jones right here in Nashville years ago. Famous songwriter went up to him at a party and said, Hey, Grandpa. He said, I have a, a new song I'd like for you to hear. And he was like, I think it was Harlan Howard he was talking to. And, and, he, and Grandpa said, Oh, yeah, what's it to the tune of? You know, like, <laughs> like they've already been all been written, but they haven't. And so that's the beauty of it. And so it just seems like something fresh all the time, never runs out. And, uh, you know, you'll never get everything out of these things. They're always better. They, the guitar, as Chip, Chip Atkins used to say, the guitar always wins. I like to encourage people, you know, to, to use their gifts and not just sit on it, you know, and say, well, I'll just play at home. Well, then you should get out of it. People ask me all the time, how can I grow? How, how do I get to the next level? Go out and play for people. My dad was a really great guitar player, fine guitar player, and my mother's brother was a, an entertainer. The guitar just seemed to be uh, the right thing for me. Um, I tried piano, it just didn't take. And uh, there was a, another, a couple of guys at my church, and a, a couple of other kids that, that had an interest in guitar. And, uh, I thought, you know, guitar is really is cool. You can play with your friends and have a good time. It's a social thing, and you can take it anywhere you want. And uh, and I just love. I never thought I'd ever be a professional guitar player or anything like that. It's just I loved it. Well, the greatest influence is uh, besides my dad and my grandfather at church. You know, um, of course, Merle Travis, Chet Atkins. Um, and then uh, Les Paul. Those were the three main influences in my life because my dad had their records going all the time, all the time. And uh, and then later on, it was Lenny Bro. I'll never forget the first time I ever heard him play. It was just unbelievable. And then Jerry Reed also, and a guy named Dwayne Friend, who was a gospel guitar player. And so, uh, yeah, and through, through the years, I've met all those guys and played with every one of them. Uh, nowadays, I love Tommy. Tommy Manuel's great, you know. Uh, Lawrence Juber's a fine guitar player. Richard Smith. There are a lot of great players that are in my genre. Larry Carlton. Eric Johnson, I think, is probably one of the greatest musicians I've ever met. He's a uh, Mozart. Well, my experiences at the Grand Ole Opry, they started back with, uh, well, actually, when my family were visiting here and I went to the Ryman. Oh, oh man, I, I never dreamed I'd ever play on stage. And then uh, uh, it was a few years later, I was on the stage with Grandpa Jones. And uh, I'll never forget that uh, first time that I was on uh, on the stage with him. But it's funny because every time is a, is a great experience. I never get tired of it. Chet Atkins actually called me over to his office one day, right here down the street, and he said, I, I have something for you, and he gave me one of his Gibson nylon string electrics. So I had some experience with that. But when I got my tailor, I started thinking differently and playing differently and started writing, and I started writing things like Jazz in a Box, you know, and some, some of the songs that people still request. I didn't get away from electric, but more so, it, it became the second instead of first. The acoustic became first. When you think about pickups, though, it's, it's, it's never, you know, you have to have the right components with it, just like strings. I, I look at more than an accessory, it's part of the guitar. It has to be right, and I've never heard anybody that could voice the, the pickup of a guitar as, as good as Lloyd. Honestly, when you can uh, when you can walk out into an audience and you can just start playing your guitar and you're not thinking of, honestly, you're not thinking what kind of pickup I'm using, what kind of strings I'm using, what kind of amp or even guitar or anything else, and you're just playing your music, that's when you've done it. Mm -hmm.